Holy shit! Oh, oh, no, this idiot stapled himself! I'm beautiful. On the gorgeous. inside. I saw a snake and it bit me! Guys, it's in the can! Oh, guys, it's about to get out! There looks like there's a giant centipede on my face! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my spooky craft corner. And today we're gonna be doing some spooky dookie makeup from the video. 31 spooky makeup ideas by five minute crafts. Let's see what the first one is. <laughs> So for this one, we're gonna need to lay down some parchment paper. There we go! Then we just break out our glue gun. Let's lock and load. And then we just make the individual drips. One down, a bunch to go. Okay, nice and even. Now I'm gonna let them dry. Are they cooled down yet? Ah! Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, these guys are nice and dry and they don't burn me anymore. Thank you for not hurting the glue. Um, but instead of like peeling them off one at a time, that doesn't sound fun. I think it'd be better to scrape them off. So I'm gonna go get myself a spatula. Let's just go through our hidden door. Oh yes, right in the craft corner kitchen. Is that you Trevor? What are you doing there my boy? Anyway, now it's time to have some fun. Let's see. Ooh, satisfying. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh, they just pop off. So satisfying. Look at all these little zits, boils. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, let's go do some makeup with them. Oh, hey, intern, how you doing? I'm good, what do you want? I was just gonna ask if you would be in one of my makeup videos. I just need your face for a craft. No, Robbie, I'm working. I'm gonna go ask the camera guy then. Oh, hey, hidden camera guy. Oh, hello. I like your shirt. Uh, I was wondering, could I use your face in a craft? I thought I was just your hidden camera guy. You're doing a great job being my hidden camera guy. Uh, this camera is not very suspicious and you do a great job. I just need you to be the face of the craft today, okay? Okay, do you want me to bring this though? No, nah, just leave it. Come with me through this okay. wall. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just open her up. Whoa! Welcome to my basement! So here we have everything we need for this classic look. Those hot glue thingies we just made, a cheap little palette off of Amazon, some foundation, some concealer to hopefully match the skin tone, and some finishing powder. But I also have to figure out a way to stick these onto your face. Super glue maybe? Yes. No, that's probably not a good idea. Let's actually use some of this. This is called Prosate. This is what the, the pros use, you see? So I'm gonna need you to hold this for me uh, right there. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna need to fill this up with some Prosade. Oh, don't, stop it. You don't wanna eat that. It looks like milk. Don't drink it! It's forbidden milk, Trevor! Please! Forbidden milk, Trevor! Intern, come here! Trevor wants to drink the forbidden milk, intern. We gotta tell him not to drink the forbidden milk. Don't drink the forbidden milk! Don't drink the forbidden milk! Okay, I think he gets the point. He's not gonna drink the milk, hopefully. I think we've drilled this into his brain. I guess you really didn't need to drill it into his head, Robbie. That's an impact. That's a drill. It's, it's an, an impact drill. I'm I'm gonna get back to work. I'm done. Thank you. You think after working for me for so long, you, you really think he knows his tools. Like, anyway, we're gonna stick some of this stuff on your face. I need you to keep holding this for me. Okay. Why don't you stop drinking it, Trev? I need you to st st stop, okay? Don't drink the forbidden milk. Just gonna plop that right on. That looks absolutely fantastic, Trev. That's not going anywhere. Now we just have to cover your entire face with them. Sound good? Yeah. Kind of hold your face still. I'm just gonna cover your entire face with these. So now Trevor's face is all covered with the weird bumps and we just have to let it dry. Uh, one second, Trev. Is this helpful? Excellent. Now I have to just stand here holding it for the next 10 minutes. Enjoy. It's okay, I'll do a dance while I'm holding it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not hitting my face. So now I'm gonna go in with some uh, concealer and just start concealing some of these lumps because he's a little self-conscious of them and I just gotta try and cover him up, you see? And 
it was at this point, Trevor, that I realized that um, it doesn't actually match her skin tone. So I'm gonna have to start all over. I'm just kidding. If we blend it in, maybe that'll help it a little bit. Oh yes, it's so blended into your face now. So this is first person uh, painting face. Yeah, how's that? Is it? Oh my God, that's so dark. It did not need to be this dark. I messed up. Oh my, it's not blending out. Oh, I wasn't even supposed to put it around your eye. Honestly, the red on your eye doesn't look bad. It really just matches the whole aesthetic of everything. And I think it's something that you're really gonna dig. I am excited. Not you, uh, the people watching. Okay. It looked like they added almost like a pink Metallic? Oh, wow, dude, this like matches your hair. What? I'm impressed, makeup. Okay, that is um, one boil down. Now I'm gonna do the rest of this guy's face. So now we're just gonna go in and carefully add some little veins. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at this. Oh, there we go. It's just one of those things where you're like, oh, that looks way better on camera than it does in person. And you guys are watching on camera, so that's all that really matters to me. So now I just gotta do the rest of his face. Mr. Camera Guy, this is looking absolutely fantastic. You look awesome. By awesome, I mean very much in pain. Are you in pain, my friend? Yes. So much pain. It's okay. Suffering. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So now we just got to add uh, little sprinkles of blood everywhere. And I'm going to guess that they just got a little cup, got their blood. Sure you want to trust me? Don't drink the forbidden cool. I'm going to drink the forbidden. Hey, stop. So we're just going to use this toothbrush method where I essentially just dab it into the blood and then we're just going to flick it onto, oh God, I'm dripping it everywhere. I'm just going to, just flicking it all. Let me just, uh, yes, there you go. I don't know why Five Minute Crafts didn't just tell us to do this. It looks like you just got really bored and you just popped every zit on your face. Oh God, there's a lot of pus that came out of that one. And there we go, Trev, you look absolutely terrible. Uh, and by terrible, I mean actually fantastic. I did a fantastic job on this makeup. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Let's go show the intern. Okay. Hey intern, I just wanted to show you what you missed out on. So, ew. Doesn't Trevor look absolutely fantastic, absolutely gorgeous? No, he looks so gross, bro. What, what did he do to you? Are you okay? I'm beautiful. On I'm the inside. Rude. Yeah. Wow, that was rude. That was so mean. Come on, let's go. We don't need this guy. Okay, now we're gonna remove these little things from um, his face. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a butter knife and just pop them right off. Oh, wow. Oh, yummy. <laughs> this is how I got rid of my zits at home. Oh, oh, yummy. How much would you want to lick this? No, don't, don't, stop, stop. It's so satisfying. It feels so weird. It's just like cake. Is it cake or is it Trevor? Well, there we go. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need another volunteer. The intern didn't want to do the last one, but uh, maybe he'll want to do it this time. Oh, intern! Oh, what's up, Robbie? Wait, how long have you been in there? Don't ask questions, what do you need? I was just wondering if I could uh, do some makeup on you really quick. I don't want to do it on my face because I feel like I'm gonna break out. Is it gonna be as gross as the cameraman's? Basically gonna be splitting your face in half. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is a perfect canvas, a perfect face. First off, we don't need these guys. Uh, Robbie. Mikey, I don't know why you don't uh, dye the tips of your hair green. Honestly, you're the strawberry boy. So we're gonna start off by putting a line straight down your face, uh, just almost like a cracked face. They used a eyebrow pencil for this, but I actually ran out of pencils. So it looks like I'm just using my black paint on my palette. And then it goes down onto the lip, over the lip, and then down over the face, onto the neck, boom. Then we go and get some white, and just put white all over his face. Okay, so now we gotta add some bruising. Some bruising in turn. Some internal bruising. <laughs> I hate you. I did not sign up for funny puns. Just go ahead and add a little purple under the forehead, under the eye. This is mass bruising. Ooh, gotta do that contour. Gotta get that cheekbone. Are you gonna make me look like Handsome Squidward? I'm hijacking the craft. I'm just gonna make you into Handsome Squidward. 
Okay, I did it way too bad. <laughs> oh my god. I messed up! That's not making it better. Have I ever told you how much of a not professional I am at this? I mean, Robbie, you're taking instructions from five minute crafts. I don't know how professional they are. <laughs> this is all instructions from the craft. I am a professional crafter. Thank you for reminding me, Mikey. He said my name. You do look like handsome Squidward. What are we redrawing, Robbie? So we're redrawing on the part where his face is kind of seamed together, and his fake face meets his real face. Oh, this is supposed to be in, in the middle of my lip. Oh, is it? There you go. Feel how hard the tip of this paintbrush is. Oh my god, Robbie, your Here, tip is so hard. Oh, it's, it's- It's like pointy. It like- You should keep I sharp objects out of my eyes. So now I'm gonna have to add the stitches. It looks like they basically just put a red dot on either side. I thought they did the fake blood first. I think they did the red makeup behind oh. it. Oh. Yeah, and then they did the fake blood afterwards. How dare I question the craft king? Hey, why are you questioning the cat? The cat fiend. <laughs> Why are you questioning the cat fiend? Don't question the craft king. That was actually a lot more work than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's just so tiring contorting myself around your body. Ooh, kinky. Just kidding, Mikey. You were right. I did the order incorrectly. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we're just going to deal with what we got, okay? But still, don't ever question me or you're fired. So it looks like they used fake blood on this, but um, the blood that they have is really thick, and all the blood I have is almost like liquid. So if I put it on his face, it'll just drip right off. So what I think I'm gonna do, here, hold this in turn, is I'm gonna get some all-purpose flour, just put it right on our plate. The intern's like, not the flour! Not after the last video you made me clean! I hate the flowers. And then add a little bit of this fake blood. I have no idea if this is gonna work, by the way. I'm just guessing. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix it up all in there. Actually, yeah, I think that's working. It almost looks like tomato soup. So now I'm just gonna go and go straight down his wound. It's a little bit more than a wound at this point. <laughs> you get half your face like sliced open. Is that even considered a wound? I thought you would be considered dead. I think this is almost too thick of blood. It worked a little too well. Robbie, you're never happy. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the actual stitches. He's just so injured. That's a way too big of a stitch. Oh my God, that's so big. I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. You know the best part of this is Robbie doesn't even own makeup remover. <laughs> I own makeup remover. Then use it right now to fix up that stitch. I don't wanna. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> I was just upside down for like five minutes. <sighs> How's it look? It's okay. <laughs> you don't look impressed. Looks good. I mean, it's artisan crafts. Okay, now I'm gonna add the blood back. Oh my gosh. More? Dude, look, I, I have to do the where they go in, see? Doesn't that look better? That was, this is actually part of the craft. You know what? You're right, it does look a little better. Don't question the craft king. Boom! Look at that! It all came together! There looks like there's a giant centipede on my face. <laughs> this is my version, and that's their version. How do you guys think we did? Let us know down in the comments down below. But I think I did a fantastic job in turn. Oh, we're done. Yeah. Was that? <laughs> Was that not it? Wait, did I do it wrong? No, it looks great. Wow, Robbie, you did such a good job. <laughs> yeah. Let's go show the hidden camera guy. Oh, hidden camera guy! Where are you, hidden camera guy? Hey. I didn't even see you. Oh my god, you're so well hidden. We just came here to ask you something. Um, how do you feel about his makeup? Um, what would you rate his makeup? I would. Mm, Out of ten, how would you rate the, my makeup skills? Like maybe a four. A four? What? I'm sub six at least. I, I think it's like a three. Two and a half at best, actually. Whatever, I'm gonna improve my skills. I'm gonna keep trying, okay? Well guys, it looks like the boys didn't like my last makeup, but I think that this one will definitely get them for sure. All I gotta do is get a straw and some scissors and just cut it up big enough to fit inside my nose. That looks about the right size. And then one that'll fit inside my mouth, just like this. I just gotta shove it in my nose. Oh, I really, oh my gosh. Is this gonna get stuck? No! Ah! 
This is scary. I don't like that. Ah! I didn't think that shoving a straw up my nose would be so scary. I think they actually did it more up and down. Now that I'm looking at it like that, and then they did it like this. Ah! Oh my! Ah! I think the boys might fall for this one. Why are you screaming? You've been pranked. I made it look like I put a straw up my nose. Why would you do that? You both been pranked. Oh, what do you guys with a straw up what, do you, what do you guys think about that? Was it good? Oh. I actually thought it looked good. Yeah? Look. I'm just confused. Why would you do that? Uh? Like, uh, uh? Yeah, that, yeah, that looks good. Uh? I'm ashamed. Ravi, only a guy like you would accidentally shove a straw up his mouth. Mm. Okay, well, I don't think they're super impressed. So, I guess we're gonna have to do better than that. Okay guys, so instead of making this look like a human bite, I'm actually gonna make it into a snake bite. That way I can do a little prank on the boys. So we're just gonna go and get our palette, get a little bit of red, and then it appears that they just sort of, boom. Oh wait, I'm doing a snake, I'm, I already messed up. Ah, how did I forget that easily? I cleaned it up for the most part, we're gonna try this again. I'm just gonna get a little uh, red mark right there, and then another one right there. Just did a little dot over it, a little black dot. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then they went and blended that bad boy in. Then it looks like I'm gonna have to get myself a Sharpie. That means I'm gonna have to sneak past the boys. I'm gonna have to try my best to make sure that they don't see my bite. Oh, hey boys, don't mind me. I'm just going to my craft corner. <laughs> oh, I don't think they suspected anything. Yes, I'm going back to the spooky basement. Don't mind me, boys. <laughs> and then for the final step, we just have to get our pen and write the tiniest little mark in the middle. Honestly, that wasn't even worth it. It looks the exact same. I sabotaged my mission for nothing. Okay, now let's have a little fun with the boys. Okay, guys, we're in the craft corner right now. One, two, and... Oh! Uh, I was outside and I saw a snake and it bit me. It bit me, guys. Well, why'd you? Uh, it bit. Oh, look, it bit me. Guys, it's in the can. I'm so scared. It feels like it's gonna come out any second. Stop, please, stop oh doing that. Guys, stop. Doing stop. Oh, guys, it's about to get out. Stop. Oh. Are you? <laughs> You've been pranked. <laughs> be a prank video. You're supposed to be filming a Halloween vlog. Uh, what do you guys think of the makeup? Doesn't it look good? It tricked you guys. It, you guys fell for it. It actually looks good. So just, oh. I'm gonna have to say if this one works. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prepare the staples. I'm just gonna take a little strip of staples and start pulling them apart. I'm doing this now because I know that when I have the makeup on, I'm only gonna have one arm. So I'm just being real prepared, especially since I'm doing this on myself. So first we break out our petroleum jelly. Just get a big old scoop of that. Ooh, yummy. And then it looks like they just got a little bit of flour, all purpose and just mixed it right into their petroleum jelly. And this will make a really nice scar wax. It's great fun, great for the whole family. I guess I'll try and do this with my hands. I don't like how sticky it is. Ew. And that looks like they put foundation on afterwards, but I'm actually just gonna mix it right in there because I think it'll make it look a lot more skin-like, you know? So gonna go ahead and, oh, and I was right. Ew. Yeah, we just mix that into our make-do skin putty. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm just gonna keep mixing this up until it looks like a better consistency. So I found this sculpting paintbrush in one of the little uh, paintbrush kits that I got. I think I'm gonna try and use this for the craft. Wow, oh my gosh, this is a game changer. Now I'm gonna try and apply it to my arm. So I'm gonna smoothly put it onto my arm. Doesn't that look fantastic? <laughs> I don't think it's my skin tone. <laughs> it's okay, it'll blend in. If I'm just shaking my arm around real fast, the boys will never even notice. And honestly, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna do the gash now. 
and a little boobity boop. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Fantastic, great job, me. Now I'm gonna get some of the fake blood I made earlier and just dab it right in there. Oh, ho, wow. Honestly, if I did a better job blending in the sides, <laughs> slash if I had the right skin tone, this would actually look pretty good. I'm not upset with this. Okay, now I'm gonna go and get my staples and carefully just insert them into my arm. Boom, just really carefully. Okay, good, good. Honestly, I think I did a pretty good job with this. Maybe blend it in on the sides a little bit better. And there we go. Just to add a little touch, I'm gonna grab the stapler and I'm just gonna dip it in my blood. Just get it all over there. That way they think that I just stapled my arm, see? Ah, oh, yes. The boys are totally gonna fall for this. Okay, guys, let's do this. Oh, guys! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Holy shit! Oh, this idiot stapled it, bro! I was playing with my axe, and I, I stapled the wound shut! Oh. Oh. Car. I don't have my car. I don't have my car. I have my bike. I have my bike. Let's take him on the bike. Oh, let's go. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay. I can't hold on. I'm holding the stapler and the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's an emergency. Okay. Guys, we don't actually have to do this because you've been pranked. What? Look, it's not even, it's not even real makeup. Oh, that does look like real makeup. You've been pranked the entire time. It looks like ice cream. No, don't eat that. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Like the video. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe. Okay. Goodbye.